my goodness and welcome back to my page I'm so excited today oh my god OMG okay guys today I am doing one of my most requested videos ever for like the last two years everybody's been asking me how did you get pregnant where did you get pregnant why didn't you tell us yada 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 and today I'm gonna tell it all so I'm gonna answer everybody's questions but before we go on to doing a brush, as usual, my, I'm tired of editing stuff out. So I'm just going to keep talking because it just YouTube, you know what? You guys are my friends. You guys can understand. Sometimes I slow, I talk too fast and I roll over my tongue. Okay, so let's continue. So before we continue, house rule number one, okay, please. If this is your first time on my channel or you've been on my channel before and you've not subscribed to me, that's not fair. Come on, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Help a sister out like, yo, okay? So if you haven't subscribed already onto my page, oh, are you proud of me today? I was able to pronounce subscriptions. Ah, my English getting better. Okay, you know what? All jokes aside. There you go. I've even said all jokes aside correctly. I came for everybody that thinks I cannot speak English properly, which I can't. English is not my first language. And you know what? You're just about as lucky as you can get the fact that I can even spell in English. Okay, right. Let's get serious. Okay, so if this is your first time on my channel, I need you to subscribe to my page. I need you to like this video. I need you to share this video and I need you to comment. And also, if you're not following me on Instagram, check the description below and I'll have a link directly to my Instagram. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. Okay, so I received a hundred of questions. No. Okay, so exaggerations, okay, I did not receive hundreds of questions, I received a couple 20, couple 30, couple 40, okay, from a few of you guys on my Instagram about my birthing story, what happened, and so on. Did you experience any baby blues? Oh my goodness, where do I begin? For me personally, I had the worst, 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 when I say worst baby blues I could have ever imagined having a child would be. Like, it's, it wasn't nothing like the mums on Instagram are doing. It wasn't nothing like, oh, you know, the love of my life. Nothing like that. Two, two things, like, for two reasons, mainly for me, was my children, when they were born, they were put in an incubator, and I wasn't able to take them home for about four weeks. So every time that I went to visit them, those 31 days, every single day I went to visit, coming back home because I was hospitalized myself for two weeks so it wasn't so bad the first two weeks because they were in another ward, I was in another ward but I can go and have access to them anytime I wanted but those 14 days that I came home for and I drove to the hospital, came back and so on it was the worst feeling ever like I would come back home, their cots are empty, their chairs are empty, there's clothes for them, there's nappies so many things and there was just no life in the house so for me it was the darkest time the darkest period but luckily for me i had my husband who was extremely supportive he was extremely understanding like if i was upset in the middle of the night whether it's two o'clock three a.m four a.m whatever he would pick me he would be like you know what let's go see you uh, let's go see our kids or put me in the car and we would go and even if he had work the next day but once they got home it was even just as it got it, my baby blues got even worse because now I was tired. There was two of them. I, I was constantly breastfeeding. I was constantly pumping. Um, I no longer had my life. I was no longer Gladys. I was no longer free. I was no longer able to just run out the house. It was just team too much. These are things I didn't expect. Things I didn't know, and I was in for the biggest shock of my life. I'm in a much better space now, but. At the time, I just thought, F this, nah, 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 nah. All the mums online are liars. All the mums in the streets and smiling ear to ear to ear to ear. I was like, a liars. But you know what? Okay, if you're going through a hard time right now, I promise you, it gets better. Okay, mine's taken two years. Some people take a month. Some people, hopefully not for your case. Some people can take longer than two years. But you will get there, I promise. Like, the baby blues do end. 
Did you have to quickly woo Here we go. Did you have to quickly get married before before people clocked you were pregnant? When when did you find you were pregnant? How did you hide it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Listen to this. How did you get married and pregnant in secret from your followers? Ow! I am so, so sorry. I forgot to bring you guys along whilst I was getting pregnant. And I am so, so sorry. I forgot to publicly display my wedding invitation on Instagram for the world to see. I deeply apologize. Next time I'm trying to create twins, I will make sure I bring everybody along. And if I do a white wedding, I am sure not to post my invitation on a public um, platform. Thank you for your question, Al. <laughs> I'm only joking, okay? It was a. I understand the question. How was the recovery after birth? Wow. Nothing you can imagine, okay? There's nothing I could describe it like. The recovery was horrific, okay? The recovery was horrible. The recovery was painful. The recovery was tiring. I have no other words. It was just awful. It was an absolutely awful, awful time for me, okay? Did your ab muscles split from carrying twins? Absolutely. Sadly for me, my ab muscles did split, but I didn't even know they split till way after, like, way after I gave birth, my stomach started to to return, I wouldn't say to normal, but my stomach started to return to something. There was a big dent, like I can't even show you, there was a big dent in the middle of my stomach and I just didn't know what it was. So I um, went to see a, my, my doctor and she did like an examination, whatever, and she said, yeah, your ab muscles did split. The dent is sort of gone now, but it's a bit weird because it looks like now it's pushed that the bottom of my stomach is out and the top of my stomach is out there and then in the middle there's a gap like, you see here where my wrists are connecting, had like a gap in there. So yeah, sadly my ab muscles did split, but I think um, it looks much better now than it did a few weeks after birth. Oh, y'all gotta hear this. Okay, how to make twins, LOL. What position I am asking for a friend? Okay, I promised you guys, like I did a few uh, a few questions ago. Next time I'm making these twins, you guys, I'm putting you guys on live. You know what? You guys can all come along. You guys can all watch. Okay. Mm. Please stress on how important it is to attend a smear test. Absolutely. Although I haven't attended yet, but I do plan on attending because my GP has sent me a lot of letters. But. Yeah, nobody's going out in this period of COVID-19. Um, but when everything gets back to normal, I will definitely get a smear test. Cancer is not a joke. Cancer is not something to play with. So make sure you get yourself checked out as as often as possible or whatever the the recommended amount of time you're supposed to get tested. Whatever, research, get to know your body. It's really important to be really in tune with your health and to not be scared of doctors because they're really here to help us anyway. Why did I say anyway like that? Like, seriously guys, take me seriously. It's really important to take your health seriously. Make sure you go and see a doctor. Get your smear test, get whatever test it is that you must get done. Look after yourself, safety first. <sighs> Next question. Hmm, my goodness, Gladys, you I did you want girls or boys or you didn't really mind? I have to be honest, I can't lie. I was so sure I was having one boy, one girl. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I was so sure. So when they popped that gender reveal, first of all, my gender reveal was from hell, okay? I was extremely moody. I was extremely upset. Everything was hot. It was blowing air. I'm just, I was just over the bloody day. People were late. Oh my gosh, it was just awful, okay? And then, because it was such a hot day and it took forever for people to get there, people were late, we were waiting for people. The two balloons that we had with the genders inside, one just popped, popped out of the air in the blue and it was blue, okay? 
it was blue. And then I was like, yeah, yeah, happy, 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 one baby. I wasn't happy because my partner had missed it, okay? So he got it for missing it. He didn't miss it because he was late, because he can't be late because it was in his house. But he was doing other things to help me out. But anyway, poor baby, um, I really gave it to him on that day because I was extremely moody. Anyway, so we did the second balloon and it came out to be a boy and I was extremely upset. I just was and looking back now I was extremely ungrateful and I'm just thankful that God blessed me with two healthy boys and it really doesn't matter about the gender of your child it's really extremely immature to be stuck on wanting a boy or a girl whatever God blesses you with I think is what you need to be thankful for the only thing your prayer needs to be is that the child is safe if you're out there praying specifically for a girl or boy stop wasting God's time because God knows what you need okay mm. trust in him okay mm. oh. Were the twins planned? Absolutely not. What are some of motherhood misconceptions you had? Girl. I never in a million years had imagined or even thought that motherhood was hard. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I just didn't think it was hard. I never thought about it. So the biggest misconception that I had was children sleep in the night like adults like my biggest misconception was i read is misconception misconception it don't matter i really thought that kids sleep when they're supposed to in the night like we do adults and they wake up when you wake them up huh it don't work like that i was up every single two hours for freaking months mate i was tired and because i was breastfeeding i was over the whole show bang i was popping it was a team too much yes yeah? so listen listen babies don't sleep in the night some of them do but most of them they don't oh looking back i feel traumatized even thinking about the whole situation oh damn it was horrible oh my god i was so tired i've never been so tired in my life <sighs> Yeah, I don't know why. Why did I think that? So yeah, it's not easy looking after babies. So don't even think one minute those Instagram posts, yeah, of mothers and daughters or mothers and sons having the greatest time. It's like that every day because it's not okay. There's good times. There's great times. There's fantastic times, and there's hard times. Hmm. Okay. No, don't forget to mention whose son has twins in their family. I have loads of twins in my family, loads of cousins that are twins, loads of cousins who have twins. My father, my biological father, not that I have any other fathers, but you know what? I'm sorry if you have a step parent, it's not my business. I just, I can't keep editing my videos. My mouth is too hot. Okay, um, my father is a twin. My dad is a twin. He has a twin. That's it. That's all I had to say. Next question. How do you handle, trust me, I got five kids, situations with mother and mother-in-law? Oh my God, like, I cannot thank God enough for both of them. They have been and were, and I know they will continue to be the biggest rocks I can ever experience. My mother never left me once alone from time I entered the hospital. My mother-in-law never left me once alone from time I entered the hospital. Like my mother has washed me. My mother-in-law has washed me. They've come home with me. My mother-in-law stayed with me for weeks, helped me look after the baby. My mom came to my house every single single day for several months to watch the twins and they respected my wishes they listened to me and they were just they have they are I am so blessed like for me God really really had my back with that but in a situation for those of you who don't get on with your moms or don't get with your mother-in-laws the best things to do I think to handle that is to really put down the house rules of what you want for your child because it's so, so important. Whoever is around you and your child, they can just respect what you want because there's nothing worse than someone doing something you hate to your child. Even if they seem, they deem to think it's correct, they need to respect it because 
it's your child and every parent does things completely different. Do not think your way is the only way. So it's really important for us, all of us mothers, I learned this now, but not to judge. Just mind your damn business how people are raising their kids. It's none of your business. Dang it. When did you go into labor? Like, where were you, LOL? Oh my goodness, guys. I did not get the opportunity, I don't know if I'll call it an opportunity, the chance to go into labor because my kids were cut out of me. Okay, I was not sick to me anyway. I was fit and well, I was still working. I felt like I had several months before I can go on maternity leave. I was living my best life. I was getting on the train, I was getting on the bus, I was walking. I was doing it all, but I went to my regular checkup, one of the scans, and um, actually, no, it wasn't a regular checkup. What am I talking about? Oh, gosh, no. Um, not that I wasn't sick, so this is what happened. Story time, story time, story time, story time. So this video might end up being longer than we want it to be, so we might split it into part one and part two, or part one, two, and three. But anyway, story time. So I had been at home. I can't remember like if it was a Saturday or something, it was a weekend or something, for a reason, I've been at home all day, okay? I don't know, I don't think it was a weekend. Anyway, I had been at home all day. And normally I can feel the twins moving, one on this side, one on the other side. And I know that twin one was on that side, twin two was on this side. Now, for I can really separate them because I just ended up knowing who was, who, who was doing what. This side would always kick me, like, he's consistent. He would always kick me, even now that he's out, he's always been, like, an active child. Now, for some reason, this child kicks too, but twin two did not move for me, to me, the whole entire day. I felt absolutely zero movement. But I didn't panic about it, I didn't think about it, I was chilled, and then it was night time, I think like 10 p.m. or something, and Philip was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm good. And Philip's my husband, by the way, yeah, I'm good. And he's like, I have kids, can I feel them kick? Because he loved feeling them kick. I was like, yeah, you can actually, this one's been kicking a lot, this one I felt nothing the whole day. And he was like, Gladys, what are you talking about? I said, yeah. He's like, are you sure? I said, yeah, I haven't felt nothing. And he was like, Gladys, get your shoes on. I said, what? He said, we're going to the hospital. I was like, okay, um, now I'm hyperventilating. Oh, um, is there a problem? You think there's a problem? He's like, just, let's just go, let's just go. We get to the hospital now. The first thing they do is they draw blood. They take, um, no, we get to the hospital now. They put like these baby monitors on me to feel the children's heart rates. There's heart rates there, but then they do a blood pressure check and my blood pressure is high in the sky. Like, they're like, have you got a headache? Do you feel like you're gonna pass out? Um, are you breathless? What's going on? And I was like, no, I'm fine. Like, am I supposed to be feeling like something? Like, what's going on here? And they were like, fine. And then they were like, pee or um, do a urine, um, urine um, sample. So I peed, they checked the urine and there was lots of protein in my urine. And they were like, you are not going anywhere. You've got preeclampsia. Your babies need to come out. Like, today. What? Thank God they didn't take them out that day, but it was only a matter of time until they took them out. But anyway. We will continue this story later if you guys want more stories about preeclampsia. Um, the best way to handle stress during pregnancy, get back at me. But for now, let's move on to the next question because I feel like that was a very long story. But yeah, um, I didn't experience labor. My children were cut out of me because I got preeclampsia. How is it at night with the twins? Now! Two years later, it's slightly better. I understand what to do. I have a routine. They still wake up random days. Like there's random days where one would get up at four o'clock, one would get up at three o'clock. Absolutely nightmare, I hate it. But now they sleep like six to eight hours sometimes I get in the night. On a great day, 10 hours. On brilliant days, 13 hours. But the first, I'd say 20 months were freaking hell for me. Hell, hell, hell. My twins, the first, like, I'd say the first even year 
they were up every two hours. It was horrific. I don't know if they were up every two hours because they knew milk was available. I don't know if they were up every two hours to punish me for every time I cut somebody on earth. I don't know if they were up for every two hours to punish their dad for all the sins he created he's done on earth. I don't know if they were up every two hours for whatever reason. I had an awful nightmare like I'd be he'd have to carry one I'd have to carry one I'd breastfeed one he has to bottle feed another one burp this one change this one this one's pooed in the middle of the night like two o'clock your eyes are like this <laughs> you can barely it was horrific it was horrible like we didn't get sleep it was horrible okay it was horrible I can't even try and sugarcoat it and to her it was the best time I got to cuddle them I got to hold them I got to kiss them no I didn't want to kiss in the middle of the night I didn't want to hold nobody at two o'clock in the morning it was horrible it's that it as well as it gets okay how long did you stay at home I stayed at home for nine months and then I went straight back to work what do you like the most being a mum? Were you ready or was, a pre was it a surprise pregnancy? What I love the most about being a mum is how their kids are so funny. Like children do the craziest of things. Like one will be running, bump their head and then he'll still be laughing and running. Or when you walk through the door, you pick them up from somewhere. They're laughing, they're smiling. I love the fact, I love it when they recognize you. I love being needed. I also love that no matter what, okay, in the eyes of your child or your children, you are that number one, B-I-T-C-H out. You are that number one superhero, superwoman. Every single child, even if your mom was a mm -mm, most children grow up just loving their mother. So yeah, I really, really love the fact that I have people that need me. So that's what I love about being a mum.